Diablo Cody's script is perfect, so if I didn't do anything and just said the words, it, was, it would be good enough. So I first became part of Lisa Frankenstein when I had a meeting with our director, Zelda. And we just had a general Zoom after I read the script, and I just, I didn't even see myself in the role. Like, I had no idea how to approach this character. It felt like a no-brainer, and it also felt like something that I was so scared of. And Zelda just made me feel like she wanted to do something. She wanted to bring back the unreal reality. The things Zelda brings to this pro like project is her genuine groundedness. She's so grounded in the moment with me, with everyone, that I just feel like nothing I'm doing is being missed. Mm -hmm. I feel like she's enhancing me and bringing so much to this role with me. And I really do think she's the the love and the heart of this movie. Zelda would give me, I'm sure, as many takes as I'd want, but I'm sure she'd cut me off at a certain point because she knows when she got what she needs. And we're dealing with gold here. I really noticed that Zelda picks up on what you're trying to do, and then she pulls it out of you more, which just means she's watching. She's really in the moment. She's not too far ahead. She's thinking about every little detail, and she doesn't miss it. So when I feel like I missed it, but she says, no, we got it, I believe her. And we always, she always lets me do another one if I ask for a fun one or if I want to try something. Because it's so important on a, on, a, on a movie set that's moving really quickly and we don't have that much time to make sure you at least feel the opportunity and space to play. Because we find a lot of gold. I have really enjoyed working with Zelda. I hope that we get to create something again. Because I trust her and she's fun and cool. And that's really all you want is someone you can just trust. And I am really um, throwing myself down on this movie. I am doing some crazy stuff, like just embarrassing things that you have to know are going to be okay. I can't believe I'm in a Diablo Cody movie. Like, there's just all these movies that she's done that I don't even realize is the same person. And then you read a script like Lisa Frankenstein, and it's not, it's like nothing she's ever done. And yet I think it's like the purest version of her. I don't know. The thing about Diablo style for me is the words. There's little alliterations. There's just, it's the kind of dialogue that I never want to mess up. Lisa Swallows is her name, is this girl who isn't heard. She doesn't speak up. She doesn't love herself very much. She doesn't think she matters very much. She's been through a lot of trauma. And uh, she, she brings sh this guy from the dead, this Victorian man, <laughs> who knows how old he is, and is finally heard for the first time. It changes everything about her, the fact that someone listens. I always pictured Lisa as this, like, girl who like man repeller vibes, like has no sense of style, comfort over cute, like cute, just be comfortable grandma, and probably wears a lot of her mom's clothes because sh she misses her mother, um, but just doesn't want to be noticed. Is so hurt and like shy that she would rather she didn't bring any attention to herself because it's just easier to get through the day if no one even looks at you. I love Liza. She is just a gift to the world, this girl. She's the sweetest girl I've ever met in my whole life, and there is nobody that could play this role except her because uh, she's such a sweet human. And Taffy is really like a sideways human, kind of sweet, kind of terrible. You're not really sure, but there's nothing about Liza that's not perfect and sweet. So working with her has been a lesson because she's so professional. She's like blowing me and Cole out of the water, okay? This girl cries on command. She is funny on command and she's always perfect. So working with her is so much fun. The most fun scene, oh, well, Michael's death was a really good day. I couldn't, I come in and I'm screaming at Taffy and I'm like, how could you take my guy? Like, that's one of my favorite lines, actually. My, one of my favorite lines of the movie is, uh, <laughs> and you just give it out like a cheese cube from Hickory Farms. <laughs> like, and our Henry, who plays Michael, Oh, he's fantastic. He's the perfect Michael. He could not get through it. He, as soon as I said cheese cube, he was like <laughs> And so I'm just yelling at both of them and Henry's just dying laughing and then Cole comes in with his ax like, who is this guy? He's acting like 
some Frank Sinatra man with his axe. It's so over, I just can't get through it. But my favorite scenes to shoot are with Cole. We're both very similar in that we want it to be the best. And it's great to like hop on a train that is a movie and get to hold hands with your scene partner, like Cole, and we're both along for the ride and he's totally got my back. And like, he makes me feel like everything I do is good. You know, even if it's not, he makes me feel like it is. So I'm very appreciative of the support. You know, I feel the same way about him. I guess we just think we're both really good. I think he's so perfect in this role. The physical comedy, he's working so hard. And it just comes across like, yep, yeah, I'm just showing up. He never complains, never. Yeah.